Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Foreign Affairs Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith says she is awaiting word on the impact of Hurricane Irma on Jamaicans living in Florida. However, she says the Consulate General in Miami has advised that many Jamaicans in Florida used a feature on Facebook to mark themselves as being safe. 24-year-old Tremaine Brown is being hailed as a hero by residents of Trenchtown and Onnit Gardens in Kingston following his valiant rescue of 12-year-old Ronaldo Reynolds, who was swept away in a gully on Collie Smith Drive last Friday. Me that said I'm on the, next to God. the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority says it will limit air traffic in Jamaica's airspace as it completes repairs on the radar communication system that was damaged by lightning strike on Friday. Traffic in Jamaica's airspace is only being allowed between 7 in the morning and 7 in the evening. 33-year-old Marsha White of Works Yard in St. Thomas was killed after being struck by lightning at her home in Port Morant on Sunday. White was catching water from a pipe outside her home when she was struck by the lightning storm. In sports, MVP athlete Michael Campbell remains hospitalized in stable condition after an early morning crash that resulted in the death of his clubmate Jordan Scott. Campbell was a passenger in the car which burst into flames on impact after crashing on Hope Road on Sunday morning. In your weather forecast, Tuesday morning will be mainly sunny and partly cloudy across sections of northeastern parishes. In the afternoon, expect scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms mainly across central and western parishes. And that's it for the Daily Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.